Hi there, Father Barry, Daily Word for Saturday, January the 2nd, Feast of St. Basil the Great. Uh, Happy New Year, Day 2 to you. How was your first day of 2021? Are you happy to get to a new number? And so it's uh, 1022021 today. So our date is all zero ones and twos. Let us pray. St. Basil the Great, pray for your intercession for large families who are one of ten children. We pray for holiness in our families as you are not the only one to be named a saint in your family. We pray, O Lord, in thanksgiving that you raise up the Cappadocian Fathers, of which Basil is the most well-known, to help the Church develop her doctrine and to keep defending you as Lord and God, O Jesus, and not anything inferior, but as equal to the Father. We pray, O Lord, that the church that has surfaced uh, since these days of the Cappadocian uh, saints, we pray that we may continue to be creedal people, uh, continuing to take seriously uh, the defined faith that has been passed on to us through the ages and founded in you. We ask this through your blessed name, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Okay, that's our saint, Saint Basil, and a man of great learning, became a doctor of the church, famous for that. And the heresy that he battled a lot was called the Arian heresy the uh, Arian heresy, and uh, it was led by a man named Arius, and he was uh, taking away from the divinity of Christ, while people have been trying to do that through the ages. The Catholic Church keeps on defending Christ as, as Lord and God, not some inferior God or lesser than God or a not a begotten of God, all these things we have in our creed that say we know, we know who Jesus is and we define him and we'll defend him till he comes again. Now we go to the readings and it is about recognizing that Jesus is the anointed one. Jesus is the Christ. Jesus is the long expected Lord. Let's go to 1 John. You're going to see by the reading how it connects to the thing I just talked to you about with Basil. St. John also is very upset with the Gnostics and those heretics that also uh, were attacking, you know, the the, the, Jesus is deity, Jesus is God. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, who is the liar? Whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ, whoever denies the Father and and the Son, this is the Antichrist. Anyone who denies the Son does not have the Father, but whoever confesses the Father has, has, whoever confesses the Son has the Father as well. So let what you heard from the beginning remain in you. If you heard from the beginning remains in you, If you heard that, then you will remain in the Son and the Father. This is the promise he made us, eternal life. I write these things about those who would deceive you. Uh, As for you, the anointing that you receive from him remains in you, so you don't need anyone to teach you. His anointing teaches you about everything, and it's true and not false. Just that has been taught to you, so remain in him. Do not be put to shame by him at his coming. The word of the Lord. So you can hear the tone in that. (laughs) So John wants people to stay true in their faith. So what did you do on January 1st? Uh, I did a little walking, but I also watched some football. I watched a couple of prisoners. Notre Dame, unfortunately, Notre Dame lost their football game to Alabama. Sorry, I thought this might be the year they could finish at the top, but they didn't. But they'll be in the top five. 
Uh, what am I thankful for this year? I'm thinking of. I'm thankful for for ribs, you know, and wings and this kind of food. It's fun to eat during a football game. I especially like the dry wings, dry ribs. But uh, I'm thankful this year that uh, didn't get the COVID, and I'm thankful that this has worked. I think so far. Wearing the mask. I'm thankful for uh, flavored coffee. This camera's backwards, but this says uh, caramel Starbucks. I like that. Had that this morning with some half and half. Mmm, tasted great. I'm thankful that, that this shirt didn't get ruined this year. I left it outside, and I thought it was going to get mildewed and not be worn anymore. I thought there'd be some damage to it, but... Uh, it's all right. I'm wearing it. So I'm thankful for that. Um, thankful for faith, though, especially that the true faith has been passed on and and that we have it in our church and we can live it. And I pray for those people who are wobbling and, and faltering in their faith. I pray they can come back. Um, but I pray that we who are living it and, and know it can live it and invite them back in. I was so pleased to meet somebody who wants to come back to church. Just met them a couple of days ago in our parish. Always glad to hear that and ready to, to jump at that opportunity. Thank you, everyone, and Happy New Year again, and Happy Epiphany coming up this weekend.